and I live in Hawkins Village community. And what's going on here is that we are here because of the uh, holes in the bridge. The bridge has so many holes and it's cut off that everybody has to walk through the little sidewalk that's in the street and it's only protected by a, a wire fence and it doesn't hold there's a brick barrier there but it's not enough room for a child to go with a stroller or a parent to push their child in a stroller through also at the other end no one can two people cannot walk coming through or out you have to wait for the first person to come out then you may travel through afterwards the traveling i don't cross the bridge because it's very dangerous and i had eye surgery so i'm kind of claustrophobic that i refuse to be closed in that fence for fear of being hit by a vehicle coming to or coming from that fence is not a protector i need to be on a sidewalk a huge sidewalk that that fence is not worthy to hold anybody to protect anybody and if you're walking with your children you have to hold your children and make them form a line and hopefully if they listen, you, you can't even cross the bridge with a child. I wouldn't even recommend that for any child to be walked on. What happens here in the winter when the snow starts coming? You can't even go through it. It's a mess. I wouldn't even advise anybody to use that because you have to literally walk in the street because it's so tight. Now you got the snow that's falling and everything like that, and then you're using your feet to walk. And if it's you got three inches, you got it on the side of you. If there's a walkway passage, so you're walking through it. But other than that, there's no way you can walk through that with ice, slushy, dirt, mud, and a kid. I catch the bus further down the hill from there, which is um, actually closer to Rankin Bridge. There's a, a bus stop right as you're coming around the uh, bend. Right there, there's a bus stop. I wait for the bus and catch it there, which it detours to Amos. I mean, that little super stop store, yeah. it detours off to the left. And then it's like a 10 to 15 minute trans uh, out of your way ride that brings you right here to the bus way. So you don't want to. Um, what do you What do you use a transit for to, to, to go around the city here? Oh, I go to my doctor's appointments where I volunteer at, shopping. That's it. And I need that bus to go everywhere. But I, it takes time to get up to the busway. The busway was supposed to be a convenience, not a hindrance. And it is now, it's an inconvenience because you got your disabled, elderly, handicapped people that can't even come up there to go to the bus. Then we, they have to come down here where I catch the bus by the bin over there at the curb. There's not a shelter to cover them or they can pull their chair in and or sit there and wait for it. They didn't make that a bus stop, but they still have that bus stop still open for anybody to use. It's not usable. Move it down to the bin. Anything else you want to say? Somebody please help us and get this bridge taken care of immediately. And move the, move the bus stop down so we can... It's getting ready to be snowing outside. We do want to be sheltered. <laughs>